Hello, and welcome to this product video by Go Engineer. My name is Tandy Banks, and today we're going to look at SOLIDWORKS inspection, specifically using the SOLIDWORKS add in for uh, drawings. SOLIDWORKS inspection is a tool that allows us to be able to create first article or in process inspection document packets. We're going to do this by creating balloon drawings. In the standalone product, we can uh, do that using PDFs or TIFF files. Uh, today, in the add in, we're going to look at SOLIDWORKS drawings specifically. And, and one of the, the big things about this is how quick and easy it is. We can create these characteristic reports with just a few clicks. We're going to be able to link those dimensions and notes that are very important to us, tie those into characteristics, make a balloon drawing that ties those together, and then later on whenever we get the report we're able to input the information, uh, the measurements directly into that report and get some visual feedback or if you're using a CMM coordinate measuring machine or other digital measuring device like micrometers, calipers, we'll be able to get those values uh, from those systems and import them directly into our uh, reports. Major benefits here is no matter which standard you're running, whether it be a, an automotive standard, a medical standard, you know, something like PPAP or um, FAIR, we're able to create these document packets using customizable templates to be able to, to get you the information you need very, very quickly. Bottom line is saving you 75% or more of your time that it takes you today in order to create those documents. So let's take a look at that. Over in the SOLIDWORKS environment, I've got a drawing pulled up here. This is a, a multi-sheet drawing, and um, SOLIDWORKS inspection adds a tab over here on our left-hand side, allowing us to, you know, wizard format, walk through, capture information. We're using a lot, utilizing the SOLIDWORKS file properties, information that's already tied into those documents, whether it be the, the part model or the uh, drawing that you're working from. We're able to grab what kind of characteristics we want to create, any kind of sampling information, and in that wizard format, we can go to the next button, and you can see here the type of information that we're going to be able to capture as characteristics. And today we've got this set to inspection only, but if I deselect that, you can see I can set it to basic or reference dimensions. Um, we can specify if we want GDNTs, what kind of uh, surface finish symbols, weld symbols, what other kind of annotations that you have in your model. Quickly with the green check mark, it builds a list of all those characteristics in our drawing. If we want to dial into one of these we can select it over here on the left hand side you can see it graphically selects it as well. We can come down here and specify any additional information you know what type of operations we want to have those set to um, you know whether this is a, a deburring operation or you know say a milling operation we can specify that there. Adding any additional comments that are needed you can select those graphically or you can select them from the feature tree and you can see that that information how they're tied together. Let's specify this one as a as a key inspection characteristic. We can come up here and select that we want to balloon all of our characteristics. You can see the multi-sheet drawing. Builds all those balloons for us. You can quickly see that we've got our characteristic numbering specified. Move any of these little balloons around. Maybe it didn't fit exactly based off of our template. See the key characteristics here, whatever we have denoted in our template. Um, that would be specified. I've got a five-sided flag set on this one. And when we're happy with the way our balloon drawing, as well as our characteristic list looks like, we can come up and create that report. I'm going to use the AS9102 uh, template today. Just clicking green check mark, you can see it creates that document for us in an Excel format. This particular template creates a three-sheet um, drawing. We can see all that metadata information that we captured earlier is brought over into our uh, forms. And if we wanted to come in here and see the visual feedback that we get, um, keying in a value that would be in between these two uh, tolerance bands, we're able to specify that. We get a nice visual feedback letting us know that that's green. Green is good. If we do something that's outside of the tolerance band, you can see that we get uh, red. So whether this is uh, meets criteria, whether it's outside of, of our characteristic range or whether it's marginal, we get a visual feedback from SOLIDWORKS inspection. These balloons are placed on their own layer and so if you want to use one document set for both production and for inspection, you're able to turn all those on and off very quickly. 
SOLIDWORKS inspection allows you to make very quick work out of the task of creating these document packets. My name is Tandy Banks. Hope you've enjoyed this video on SOLIDWORKS inspection.